Hi, I'm Antonio Graceffo, and today we're doing further interviews with the IDPs, internally displaced persons within the Shan State. Uh, basically, for a number of years, the Burmese government, the SPDC forces, have had a policy of relocating villagers at their convenience. They'll arrive in the villages, sometimes giving them as little as one hour's notice or a day's notice, and telling them that they must all leave or else they're going to burn down the village. They kill people, they terrorize people, and they drive them off their land, and then there's no place for them to go. So many of them have found their way here to the SSA headquarters at Doi Talang, where the army can take them under their protection, provide them with food, they have a school, they have a hospital, so they're taking care of them. But each one of these people brings with them a story. And I have with me today my friend, what is your name? My name is Deng Liang. Leng and Leng. My, my mom name is Tsai uh, Nya. Tsai Nya, okay. Yeah. And how old are you? Uh, now I'm 22. 22 years yeah. old. When did you come to Doi Talang? I come to Rotterdam in 1999. And why did you come here? Uh, uh, because in inside our our Shan Street, there are many uh, uh, many traveling like like the uh, uh, SPDC burned down our village, like our home, like they forced they forced the villager to go to the city and. Um, and to live in uh, in a city, and so we have no press, no food, um, no. So the SPDC uh, came and they they burned yeah, they burned yeah. your village. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And when they did, they warn you first. Did they give you some notice, or did they just come in one day and burn? Yeah, they uh, they warned us for three days. Three days uh, morning. Three days to move to, to the move city. Away. Yes. But how can we move first? First. Firstly, because uh, because that that's, uh, our village and the city very poor, so we, we you don't have money yeah, for moving. Yeah. Also, your family were they farmers? Yes. So how can they move the the rice? So we uh, uh, we have to walk and carry our uh, our thing mm -hmm. like this. We have to we have to carry. You carry to, your food yeah. and clothes. Yeah. Did you in your farm? Did you have some animals? Chicken, pig, buffalo. Oh yes, yeah. We have we we, we have to uh, we have to take take care of um, our animal like that uh, in our family. But but we 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 can take them go to the city. You couldn't take yeah. them with you. So yeah. what happened to the animals? Yeah, uh, our, our animal. But uh, when the FPDC came, they also take it and. And kill our animal and eat like that. The SPDC yeah. took their animals yeah. and killed them, gave them a three day warning that they needed to leave the village. Obviously, they're farmers, they can't take their fields with them. So, you took some, some food, yes. I guess, some food some and food, yeah. clothing and, yes, and clothing. on your back yes. and walking. And walking to the city. How many days walking? Um, uh, if a young. If a young young people maybe one day, one day. Uh, if old people maybe two or three days like that. And the little babies, yes, and children. And, uh, a little, a little baby. No, uh, I think maybe five days or like that. So did some people die when they were walking? Yes, uh, some some are hunger, some children are hunger, some are some are pain, like some some got sick like that day. Some will die uh, near 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 our uh, uh, our uh, road. Like that. Near yeah. near the road, near next the road. next to yeah. the road. Next to the road. So the, some old people yeah. or some children maybe. Some children will die. Yeah. They died on yeah. the side of yeah. the road. So old people and children falling out of the line and dying at the side of the road. Yeah. 